everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I received a huge box in the mail. So I'm going to open it on camera and we will all see what it is together. It's not very heavy. I would say it weighs maybe 10, 10 or 12 pounds, but I had no trouble getting it up the stairs. I just you know, took the, the bottom end and flipped it up and just kept flipping and got it upstairs. So I'm anxious to uh, rip it open and let's see what's in it. I did set the camera back a little way so that, um, so that I could open it on camera. So let's open it up here and I'll show y'all what I have gotten. Okay, so I see some tags in here. Let's see who this is from. A gift for you. I hope you enjoy your gift from Rebecca. And Rebecca is one of my subscribers from Mississippi. So we have a lot in common. We are both from the south, the southern part of the United States and from the great state of Mississippi. So let's get in here and get this unpackaged and see what kind of goodies I have here today. Oh, there's a box inside of the box. That could be a good thing. Okay. I better put my glasses on. I don't want to cut my finger off. You know, companies ship their products to the Amazon warehouses in their packaging, and then when someone places an order, they're called Amazon Fulfillment Centers, actually. Then all Amazon has to do is put it in their box and stick a shipping label on it and make a commission off a settlement for the manufacturer. Okay. Are y'all ready? Oh, oh, what is this? It's all in, encased in plastic. It looks like a chair. Oh, here's a name on the front of the canvas. It's <laughs> oh, look. Tricycle. Oh my goodness. It is a folding trolley dolly. Yay! And it is a stair climber trolley dolly. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Oh, this is going to be, this is a godsend <laughs> for when I have to bring groceries and packages up the stairs. I'll just leave this at the bottom of the stairs and, and it'll be a handy thing to have and I just appreciate it so much. After I get it assembled, I will show y'all that in another video, but let's read a little bit about it. This is such an amazing and thoughtful gift and thank you so much, Rebecca. I just appreciate this from the bottom of my heart and it's going to help me so much. It's going to help my back, my feet, my legs. Uh, Y'all bringing those groceries upstairs for the past three years has been such a challenge. Anything really that I have to um, cart up the stairs and now I'll just put it in my little trolley dolly. So let's read about it and find out some more about it. I'm not gonna make y'all watch me assemble it. Pull to remove the plastic cap. Secure lock located on both wheels, okay. Press secure lock and insert the wheel into the axle. Release the secure lock to ensure the wheel locks in place. Okay, I can do that. Push down plate until it is leveled and snaps into place. 
and then lift the handle up and secure the, oh, it has a lock on the handle too, that's wonderful. And then insert the bag over the handle and pull down. Attach the bag onto the dolly frame. Yeah, I can um, assemble it all by myself. I'm not gonna have to get Hussani to assemble it. So let me, I wanna check out the canvas. And y'all, it's, it's very lightweight. I can lift it with one finger. Y'all will have to let me know if any of you have a, a trolley dolly like this. Okay, so this is the canvas. Oh, it has, um, okay, so I can actually use this say if I'm just running into a store to pick up a few things. I can just take this and then I can use the trolley dolly. I'll probably just take the trolley dolly with me. I could, I don't know why I can't even roll this through the grocery store, you know, when I'm shopping and put my items in, in the, Look, it has a nice bag on the front and a zipper compartment. Oh, and it has a place for my water bottle. <laughs> it's really, oh, it's very deep, y'all. Look inside of it. Very, very deep. This is gonna hold a lot. And there's a zipper pocket inside of it, too. So I'm gonna have to take my purse in the store. I can just put my um, wallet in here, in the zipper pocket. And then it has a nice zipper pocket on the back too. Oh. <laughs> but look at my jewelry, ain't it pretty? Tammy sent this to me, oh, a year or so ago. But y'all, I've been so sick, I haven't been able to wear any jewelry or hadn't even felt like getting dressed up to wear jewelry. But this is the necklace that matches. Of course, coral is my favorite color. <laughs> so thank you, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Tammy, you're so sweet. So let me check out my cards. I received an Easter card from Sadie. Isn't it pretty? Y'all, I love cards with uh, glitter on them. Oh, they just add that special touch to them. It's so pretty. Just for you on Easter. Sunny thoughts and warm Easter wishes are being sent to you for a season that blooms with happiness that lasts the whole year through. Happy Easter, love Sadie. Y'all, look at all the beautiful stickers. She thinks of everything. Isn't it beautiful, Jesus? The cross, the bunny rabbit, flowers. What is that, a little chicken? Yeah, a little chicken. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Thank you, Sadie, for thinking about me. I really appreciate it. So that's going to be it for my Saturday before the Easter Eve, I guess it's called. Um, I'm hoping to get a video up tomorrow. I'll be going over to Jill's and hiding eggs with the grandkids, and I can't wait. They, they get so excited <laughs> whenever they find the eggs. So I'm looking forward to that tomorrow, and I will probably film some of it. I may not show the grandkids' faces, but I will try to film some of the Easter egg hunt if, if Jill will allow me. I hope that you will give me a thumbs up and share, and if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're not new here, I want to thank you so much for continuing to love and support me. Y'all mean so much to me. And you just keep on coming back.